Hello, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika and today we're going to discuss a condition that affects millions of women worldwide, endometriosis. This is a complex, often misunderstood condition that can have a profound impact on a woman's quality of life. In this video, we'll explore what endometriosis is, how it affects the body, its symptoms, how it's diagnosed, and various treatment options available. Whether you've been recently diagnosed, suspect you might have it, or are supporting someone who does, this video will provide you with the essential information that you need. Endometriosis is a chronic, often painful condition where tissue resembling the uterine lining grows in the pelvis, abdomen, and virtually anywhere in the body, causing inflammation, scarring, and adhesions. This tissue can be found on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, outer surface of the uterus, and other organs within the pelvis and abdomen. In more severe cases, it can even spread to the intestines, bladder, and to areas outside the pelvic region, such as the lungs or diaphragm. There are several types of endometriosis based on where the tissue grows. Superficial peritoneal lesions are the most common form, where the endometriosis tissue is found on the peritoneum, which is the lining of the pelvic cavity and the abdomen. These can be of different appearances and it takes an experienced surgical eye to identify all the different types of lesions. Ovarian endometriomas are cysts filled with old blood that develop within the ovaries. They're often referred to as chocolate cysts due to their dark appearance. Deep infiltrating endometriosis or DIE is a more severe form where the endometriosis tissue penetrates deeper into pelvic organs like the bladder, bowel and nerves. Extra pelvic endometriosis is not that rare. In this, the endometriosis tissue can be found outside the pelvis in areas like the lungs, diaphragm and even the brain. Endometriosis responds to hormonal changes during the menstrual cycle, thickening, breaking down, and bleeding. They undergo repeated tissue injury and repair, leading to fibrosis and rupture of the small blood vessels around them. This leads to inflammation, the formation of scar tissue, and adhesions, which are bands of fibrous tissue that cause organs to stick together. The exact cause of endometriosis is not fully understood, but several theories exist. Retrograde menstruation, it suggests that menstrual blood flows backward through the fallopian tubes into the pelvic cavity where endometrial cells implant and grow. The problem with this theory is that it doesn't explain all types of endometriosis, like how we may find endometriosis on or in the chest cavity but not in the abdomen. Unfortunately, this even today is propagated by a majority of the gynecologic community which causes a lot of problems in creating an understanding of the disease and developing drugs that treat the disease rather than treating the uterine lining. Embryonic cell transformation. This theory suggests that during development in the womb, certain cells destined to become endometriosis tissues end up outside the uterus and develop into endometriosis later on as one ages. Immune system disorders, it's also possible that the immune system may fail to recognize and destroy endometriosis tissue, but this theory still needs more solid supporting data. Genetics, endometriosis tends to run in families, suggesting a genetic component to this condition. Environmental factors, there is emerging research exploring the role of environmental toxins and endocrine disrupting chemicals in the development of endometriosis. The role of epigenetics is also being widely studied as a causation factor. The symptoms of endometriosis can vary widely, both in type and severity. Some women may experience debilitating pain, while others might have mild symptoms or none at all. The most common symptoms include chronic pelvic pain. This is the hallmark symptom of endometriosis. The pain often coincides with menstruation but can occur at any time. Dysmenorrhea or painful periods that may begin before and last several days into your period. Dyspareunia is pain during or after sexual intercourse, particularly with deep penetration. Dyscasia is painful bowel movements, often accompanied by other gastrointestinal symptoms like bloating, diarrhea or constipation, especially during menstruation. Urinary symptoms such as painful urination, frequency or urgency or difficulty emptying the bladder. Leg pain such as sciatic pain or pudendal pain can occur when endometriosis affects the pelvic nerves. Chest pain or shoulder pain from diaphragm endometriosis. Infertility, endometriosis is one of the leading causes of infertility affecting about 30 to 50% of women with this condition. It is important to note that the severity of symptoms does not always correlate with the extent of the disease. Some women with severe endometriosis may have mild symptoms, while others with milder forms of the disease may experience far more severe symptoms. Endometriosis can have a profound impact on a woman's quality of life. Chronic pain, fatigue, and the emotional toll of living with a long-term, often misunderstood condition can affect daily activities, relationships, and mental health. Many women with endometriosis experience anxiety, depression, and a sense of isolation. 
particularly if they face delays in diagnosis or inadequate treatment. Diagnosing endometriosis can be challenging due to its wide range of symptoms and the overlap of other conditions like IBS or PID. On average, it can take 7 to 10 years from the onset of symptoms to receive a correct diagnosis. Your doctor will begin with a detailed medical history and a pelvic examination to check for any abnormalities. Transvaginal ultrasound is often used to detect ovarian cysts, however, it may not always detect smaller or more superficial lesions. MRI is a more advanced tool that can provide detailed images of the pelvic organs and help in assessing the extent of deep infiltrating endometriosis. Laparoscopy is considered the gold standard for diagnosing endometriosis. A laparoscopy is a minimally invasive surgery that allows the doctor to view the pelvic organs directly and take biopsies of any suspicious tissue for further examination. Tissue samples taken during a laparoscopy are examined under a microscope to confirm the presence of endometriosis outside the uterus. Several treatment options are available to manage the symptoms and improve quality of life. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen can help manage pain. However, they do not address the underlying disease. Hormonal therapies aim to reduce or eliminate menstruation, thereby alleviating some pain-related symptoms. Birth control pills can be used to regulate or stop menstrual periods. GnRH agonists induce a temporary menopausal state, lowering estrogen levels and suppressing symptoms. They have no impact on progression or regression of disease. Progestins or progesterone are hormones that can help suppress endometriosis-related pain. Excision surgery is the most effective surgical treatment for endometriosis. The goal is economic radicalism, where we strive to be radical towards removing the disease, but conservative towards functions like bladder, bowel, sexual and reproductive. An anti-inflammatory diet and certain supplements may help manage symptoms. While more research is needed, some women find relief through dietary changes. Pelvic physiotherapy can help alleviate pain and improve function. Some women find relief with acupuncture, yoga or mindfulness practices. While these do not treat endometriosis directly, they can be valuable for managing symptoms. Living with endometriosis requires a comprehensive approach which includes medical treatments, lifestyle adjustments, and emotional support. Developing a pain management plan with your healthcare provider is crucial. This might include medications, heat therapy, relaxation techniques, and pacing activities to avoid flare-ups. Addressing the emotional aspect of endometriosis is equally important. Counseling, support groups, and stress management techniques can help manage the psychological toll of the disease. Connecting with others who have endometriosis can provide valuable support and reduce feelings of isolation. Whether through in-person groups or online communities, finding a support network can make a significant difference. Endometriosis is the leading cause of infertility, affecting up to 50% of women with this condition. If you are trying to conceive, it's important to work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized plan. This might include fertility preserving strategies, surgical interventions to remove the disease, and assisted reproductive technologies like IVF. While endometriosis can make it more challenging to conceive, many women with this condition go on to have successful pregnancies. Advocating for yourself in the medical setting is crucial, especially when dealing with complex conditions like endometriosis. Don't hesitate to seek second opinions or ask for more advanced diagnostic tests if you feel your symptoms aren't being adequately addressed. Empowering yourself with knowledge and being proactive in your care can make a significant difference. Raising awareness about endometriosis is also vital. By sharing your experiences and educating others, you can help reduce the stigma associated with the condition and improve the quality of care for all women affected by it. Increased awareness can lead to earlier diagnosis, better treatment options, and a stronger support network for those living with this disease. Endometriosis is a chronic, often painful condition that can significantly impact a woman's quality of life. It involves the growth of endometriosis tissue outside the uterus, leading to a range of symptoms including chronic pelvic pain, painful periods, and infertility. Diagnosing endometriosis can be a challenge, but with the right surgical team and a combination of treatments, many women find relief and can lead full active lives. If you suspect that you might have endometriosis or if you're struggling with symptoms that affect your daily life, I encourage you to seek medical advice. Early diagnosis and a comprehensive treatment plan are key to managing this condition effectively. Please share this video with others to help raise awareness about endometriosis and encourage more conversations about women's health. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and share. And leave a comment below with any questions or experiences you would like to share with us. By staying informed and supporting one another, we can help improve the lives of those living with this condition.